Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid, and this lesson might make you hungry. Why? Because today we're going to correct some common pronunciation errors when talking about food and restaurants. Okay? So here we go. Let's start with food. So these words are the most common words which are mispronounced. There may be others, but let's start with these. The first one, pizza. Not sure how you're pronouncing it, but this is how it should be pronounced. Pizza. Okay, you can see I've written it here. And what's written in capital letters is what should be stressed. So we stress on the first part here. Pizza. Say it after me. Pizza. Good. The next one. Salmon. Again. Salmon. Now, you see what I've written here? M apostrophe N. Because really, if you look at it in the dictionary, they will write an upside down E, which is called a schwa, which is a very short sound, like uh. So they would put that in the middle, but I'm just putting an apostrophe to show you that there's almost no sound there. Okay? So for example, sa min, min. Okay? Say it really short. Good. Hamburger. Again, hamburger. Okay, the stress is on the first part. Hamburger. Again, gur, very fast. Again, hamburger. Salmon. And the first one, pizza. Good. This one, chips. Just one syllable, chips. What's important here is that the I is really short. So make sure you're saying it fast and short. Chips. Got it? Good. The next word, salad. Salad. Okay, the stress is on the first part. Say it after me. Salad. Good. Okay, onions. Let's look at how it's actually uh, pronounced. Onions. Second part, again, we can see that contraction, right? Yins. Onions. Good. By the way, um, in one of my pronunciation lessons about uh, how to master and say long words uh, more easily, there is a lesson about something called backchaining, which is what we did just now. We pronounced the word from the end instead of from the beginning. It doesn't matter so much in short words, but when you have a long word, it can be very useful. So if you want to check out that lesson, that will also help you, okay? It's called backchaining, that technique. So here we would say yins, onions, okay? All right, what's this word? I know there's an L there, but you know what? We don't pronounce it. So it should be almonds, almonds. There's a silent L there, okay? Forget about the L, all right? Almonds. Or you could say mince, almonds. Okay? Very good. Bowl of soup. Now here, it's not so much to teach you the pronunciation of soup, but really about bowl, because many students mispronounce this word, um, and because of various reasons, all right? So in case you do, then this is how we actually pronounce it. The line I've written on top of the O shows it's a long sound, okay? So say it after me. Bowl. Ready? Bowl. Good. This word, snacks. Snacks. The stress is a little bit more in the first part. Snacks. The last part is x. x. Snacks. Okay? Good. This one, also mispronounced all over the world. Dessert. Okay? Dessert. Stress is on the second syllable. All right? Remember, don't mix this up with another word called desert. That's a very dry place somewhere in the world with lots of sand. And this is something you want to eat. Okay? After dinner. Like this fancy dessert. In this case, the dessert is a cake. All right? Dessert. So let's say them once again. Ready? 
If it's easier for you, look over here. Let's do that. Pizza. Salmon. Hamburger. Chips. Salad. Onions. Almonds. Bowl of soup or whatever. Snacks. Dessert. Okay? Did you get those? You can always pause the video, go back, listen to it again, listen to it another time. Practice it through the week if you're making a lot of these mistakes, okay? Because with pronunciation, we really need practice. So maybe it's not enough to just watch it once. Come back again uh, another day or after a couple of days and then again in a couple of days and make sure you're saying it correctly, okay? Uh, here are a few other words that have to do with this world of food, which are often mispronounced, okay? Recipe, okay? A recipe tells you how to cook something, right? It lists the ingredients, it lists the processes or the methods that you follow, but the word is pronounced recipe. Do you have the recipe? Okay. Menu. When you go into a restaurant, you ask for the menu. Okay. It's just like men you. Menu. Now, the next word, there are two very common pronunciations, buffet or buffet. You can pronounce it either way, uh, but let's repeat it. Buffet, buffet. Okay. You choose what you like. All right. Okay. So on this board, we're going to look at two types of errors that are often made when saying the names of restaurants and also of some hotels. Okay. So let's start here first. Now, what's common in all of these that are written in black? Well, all of them have an apostrophe S or an S. And what's the problem with the pronunciation of those? that many people around the world are forgetting to say the S. Is that a major crime? No, of course not. Will people understand if you don't say the S? Yes, they'll understand. But is it better to say it naturally and authentically? Yes, and you'll be able to do that, all right? So let me show you how. So the first thing is to be aware, okay, that you're not saying the S, and now you're aware. Now let's Say this one, that's very famous, first without the S and then with the S, okay? So you can hear it clearly. So without the S, McDonald, McDonald, with the S, the way it should be, McDonald's, McDonald's, okay? Let's go to McDonald's, okay? That's how you would say it in a natural sentence. All right, the same here. We don't say let's go to Wendy. We say let's go to Wendy's. Let's go to Wendy's. All right, or here. Now, sometimes the names just have one word with the apostrophe S. Sometimes we see the apostrophe S on the first word, like here, Domino's Pizza. So don't say Domino Pizza, say Domino's Pizza. Repeat it after me. Domino's. Here, Church's Chicken. Church's. Okay? So you need to hear the S because if you don't say it, what happens is that it sounds like you don't know and it doesn't sound very good. Okay? So try to correct that. You can. You can once you pay attention to it. All right? Here's another famous ice cream company, Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. Not Ben and Jerry but Ben and Jerry's, right? You hear the S? Or Papa John's, Papa John's, okay? Make sure you're saying the S. Now here, there's no apostrophe, but there is still an S. Here we go. This famous coffee uh, restaurant, right? Starbucks, Starbucks, okay? And this one, Five Guys. Okay, that's a kind of a burger place, very famous also. Starbucks coffee shop, Five Guys. You should hear the S at the end, all right? So that's what was wrong here. So all you have to do 
to fix the name of the, those particular restaurants, is just make sure you're saying the S. Now, as a bonus, I've thrown in a few hotels because perhaps you visit these hotels and go to the restaurants that are inside those hotels. So make sure you know how to pronounce the name of these hotels. Now, what's the problem here? Here it was the S, here it's the ending, T-O-N, okay? You see that in all three, there's a T-O-N at the end. So the problem is this, when we say T-O-N by itself, the word is tan, okay? Tan, but here it gets shortened. Sheraton, tin, not tan, tin. Sheraton, Hilton, Ritz Carlton. Okay, so you should be saying tin, not tan, tin. Let's say them one more time. You can repeat it after me. Sheraton, Hilton, Ritz Carlton. Okay, did you get that? That wasn't so hard, right? I'm sure you can do it. Now, these are just some examples that I've given you, okay? And they're just to give you the type of mistake that is often made. But obviously, you have many more restaurants around you or hotels and also many kinds of food and drinks that you like to order. So what I suggest is think about what you like most and learn the correct pronunciation of those foods, of those drinks, of your favorite restaurants and of your favorite hotels, because then when you go there, you'll be saying and saying their names properly, okay? So that's the most important thing. Check that out, and if you're not sure how to pronounce it, if it's something famous, you can find out, you can call them, you could call the hotel or you could call the restaurant and ask them, by the way, I really wanna know the correct way to pronounce your hotel or the name of your restaurant, and they'll be happy to tell you, or ask a waiter when you're inside, or ask one of the staff members, okay? They'll be more than happy to tell you. They'll, they'll be happy that you care, that you want to pronounce it properly, okay? And you can do the same with different foods, um, all right? So, what can you do to uh, make sure you know this? Well, practice. With all pronunciation, you're training your ear, you're training your mouth. So go back, and if you got any of these wrong, just practice some more. Come back after a couple of days, because pronunciation can't change immediately overnight needs a little bit of reinforcement. So go back through the week and practice them until you get them right, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's no quiz on this on Ingvid, but do visit us at ingvid.com for lots and lots of other lessons, okay? Thanks very much for watching. Good luck with your pronunciation and with your English. Bye for now.